Good morning from Epcot. Today we're at the Food and Wine Festival and this is Jen's first time coming to the event this, this year. Is, this is my first and my last time right? I think at this event because it does end on November 18th. So I can't imagine that I'll be back before it ends. So yeah, first and last time, very excited to be here. We only have a few hours here, so. Gotta make it count. I looked at the, the menus and I have some ideas of things that I want. Pickle milkshake. I definitely think I wanna get that more towards the end because it's still a dessert. Okay. And I'm a, I'm a big proponent of eating the savory things first. Okay. So let's head into the World Showcase. There are over 200 food and drink items during this festival. I don't think we're gonna be trying that many today, but I do wanna try as many as we can. Yeah. So let's get started. Let's do it. Also. Guess, yeah, guess who else is here with us? Oh. Oh. Say hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> All right, let's check the wait time for Spaceship Earth, see how busy it is here today. 20 minutes. Ooh, kind of a long one. All right, we are headed towards World Showcase, but we're heading through the breezeway between Creations and Connections. Trying to find our first food booth. Sorry, I'm like, I'm on a mission. Yeah, Jen runs. I'm trying to... I just want to try as many things as we can and because we have a limited time we're only here while Jackson's in school so I'm like we gotta go we gotta do it no jamminers are out and about there we are so there were some booths that opened on September 22nd, and I haven't been here to taste any food since then. So like Coastal Eats over here, of course it's all seafood, your specialty. It didn't sound too interesting to me though, the oh, menu. Okay. It was like oysters Rockefeller and, well, let's look at it real quick, we're right here. Crab cake and oysters Rockefeller. Mm. So the thing with the crab cake, I would totally get it, except it, I, I feel like it's gonna be a lot of filling and not a lot of crab. Okay. For seven bucks. Yeah, no worries. I think I want to save my money. Let's okay. go on to the next one. Okay. One thing I like about the booths that they started doing is they give the year that it was introduced. So if you look on the sign here, down the bottom left-hand corner, it says introduced in 2017. All right, so from Coastal Eats, we are making our way around to World Showcase. I wonder if they've started setting up anything for the holidays. I don't know. We'll have to look while we're back there. So hey. I was just telling Tim, usually what happens with these festivals, um, especially when we're on a time crunch, is that we get stuck in a rut where we only go to the booths right here in like future world is this future world uh yeah, it used to be well what this area of the <laughs> park and so i want to head into the world showcase because we don't get to focus on those booths as often Monterey. and i found some things that i really want to try back there we haven't seen these displays yet either for the disney 100 the 100th anniversary of disney studios it was all started with a mouse. Also, there's something here that I haven't seen before. What? Do you know what it is? What? The Illuminous barges. Oh, are they out? Yeah, look at them. Oh. They're huge. I didn't think they... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think they were going to just replace them with bigger barges. So, out here, we've got the tents that they're using to program the show. And there they are. They're the barges for Illuminous, the new show starting December 5th here at Epcot. This is the new Nighttime Spectacular. And now the thing that is different about this as opposed to Harmonious is that these barges are movable and they will tow them out every night. And that will leave the lake open with a better view. So that's what everybody was, everybody's biggest complaint about Harmonious was that the barges took up too much of the view of the rest of World Showcase. And these also take up a lot of the view, but they are movable. So we are heading to the right when we get into World Showcase and we're heading towards Canada down there but I also wanted to point out that so over here the previous Starbucks locations is now Swirled Showcase and they serve soft serve. All right first stop Canada. Everybody always tells us to get the filet and I feel like it's always been hit or miss for me so we're giving it a try again. It is a Canadian filet mignon. It's $9.75. It has mushrooms, borson black truffle and sea salt mashed potatoes and borson black truffle and sea salt whipped butter. So we'll give it a try, see how it is. All right, I want you to dig into this as quick as you can while it's still warm. It feels like it's cooked very well. It's, oh no. it, it's not super tender, but. Oh, well, okay, it's not terrible. Yeah, there's just a little thick marbling there. <laughs> oh, a friendship. Let's see. 
Okay. Nice. I mean, it does. It's cooked nicely. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Yeah, it does. Give it a taste. Okay, hold on. I gotta cut it into smaller pieces. I'm gonna do just the meat first. Oh, it is really tender. Oh, that's good. Mmm. Is think it good? I'm is it using, a win? No, it's, it's very good. Oh, good. I think because I'm using um, plastic cutlery, that's deceiving. It's making it feel like it's more chewy than it is. So you just gotta pick it up and eat it like a hamburger. No! No? Let me have a little bite. Okay, wait. Let me do a bite with the mushroom. Oh, okay. Let's see. With the mushroom. Did you put some of the butter on it? No, I didn't. Here, I'll give you the butter. Okay. Let's try it with the butter here. Pretty good, very melty, melts in your mouth. The butter is very truffly, very truffly. Hmm. Yeah, right? It's very truffly, yeah. Yeah. The steak itself is seasoned really well. I want to taste just the steak. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, it's good. Very good. You want to try the potato? Oh yeah. Oh, oh dear, I'm just gonna try it here. Okay, <laughs> just point it at me. Oh, that's super truffly too, but also buttery. Ooh. This is next to the butter. Yeah, that's this good. is so good. I oh, it tastes a, like cheddar. This is a really good way Ooh. to start. Somebody asked me if they were the Gruyere potatoes, and I said, I don't know. They're not. Oh, no? No, Borson. The potatoes are? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Everything's Borson. Well, is Borson sponsored. from Canada? No, they're sponsored by Borson. Oh. And Ben's Rice. And oh, the whole the whole festival, oh. not the Canada food. No. Okay. All right, now we're actually headed back the same way that we came because we wanted to go to Canada first, and then we're going to go this way because there's a couple of new booths down here that opened that we haven't been to. What's and, that one? Uh, oh yeah, this is a new one. This is Bubbles and Brine. So I think they have they have like a jumbo shrimp cocktail and they have a jumbo crab claw cocktail. So let's see if we can see a picture of it, just of the jumbo shrimp cocktail. Don't have any picture of the jumbo crab claw cocktail. $12, $14 for the shrimp cocktail. Ooh. What do you get, three shrimp and a lemon? Okay, so the shrimp's pretty big. Crab claws are pretty small. I think that's like a normal size. I know, but for $14 you get three shrimp. Oh, yeah. <laughs> pretty, pretty, uh... It looks good, but I'm gonna save my money and spend it elsewhere. But I will say, I think we started off strong. That filet was chef's kiss, very well done. Not well done, not very cooked well done. But it was cooked correctly. very delish. <laughs> Another new one is wine and wedge. Let's go look and see what they've got. Sorted artisanal cheeses and accompaniments. Borson fig and balsamic souffle with fig tapenade. Southern pimento cheese with bread and butter, pickled vegetables, and grilled bread. I mean, that looks pretty good. I don't like that it's bread and butter pickled vegetables, but... Oh, I thought it oh. was... Oh. And then there's an artist palette of wine and cheese. Interesting, you get both. You get wine and the cheese. Wow. Ooh. Now, you want anything? Should I try the pimento? That's new, right? Yeah, this oh. whole booth is new. Oh, let's try the pimento. Okay, over here next to Wine and Wedge, there is a new character booth here, like a character meet and greet, for Asha from Wish, Disney's new movie, Wish. There's not long of a line. Might as well hop in. Here's Jen's pimento. I have to say, the portion is actually pretty big. Pretty, pretty hefty. We could share it. Well, it's just focusing on Oliver. <laughs> He's the star of the show. Here's my souffle. Yeah, it looks really good. So this was $5.75, and then your pimento was $5.25. A little bit cheaper. Yeah. But yours, so somebody, somebody explained this last time I mentioned this in a video. They said that sometimes the ingredients, it's not the size of the meal, sometimes it's the ingredients. So whatever's oh. in yours might just be like, costlier okay. ingredients than my pimento cheese and pickled vegetables. Okay. So, which makes sense. You want to give it a try? Should I? Yeah. Yeah, give it a try. Okay, let's do... Grilled bread. All right, let's do a little... Okay. That reaction was not what I expected. It's a little sweeter than I thought it was going to be. Okay. It kind of tastes like it took on some of the... Oh, oats. the bread and butter. Yeah, some of the bread and butter pickle flavor. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. But it is like, it has a kick. Oh. Like it's got a back of the throat spice. Spice, ooh. Yeah, so it's like sweet and spicy. Okay. And creamy. Ooh. Ooh, and the bread has like a nice saltiness to it. Buttery saltiness. Oh, this is actually, now that I'm, now that I'm letting it sit on my like tongue for a minute, I kind of love it. Yeah. And like the grilled flavor from the bread, like a little bit of that like smokiness. Try it. Now you like it? I think I do. I 
spoke too soon. Oh, there's the spice. There it is. That's nice. Right? I like a kick. A little kick. A little tiny kick. It's almost like a uh, like a like a Frank's Red Hot kick, without the flavor of Frank's Red Hot. So whatever the pepper is well, in Frank's Red Hot. I am. Yeah. And the saltiness. Ooh, the saltiness is nice. Yeah, on the bread. The bread yeah. is like so good. That's the good stuff. Mm. I'm gonna try this souffle. Ooh, it's a little windy. A little windy. Oh, it cuts real. I thought I was gonna have to use a knife. <laughs> Wait, this is like cutting what, like cornbread. Okay, so it is like a little bit softer on the inside. Okay. Yeah. Oh, the monorail. Perfect shot. Perfect shot. That is delicious. What is? Give me some flavors. Mm. Fig, <laughs> but like a creamy fig. Okay. Falling so, oh my god. Here we go. Are we doing? We're, we're meeting Asha, so we got to get up here. This little buddy's gonna meet Asha today. Are you excited? Oh no, I'm a Yeah. <laughs> How's it going? Welcome. Oh my goodness. Now who's this little one? This is Oliver. What a beautiful little <laughs> He smiled at you. <laughs> oh yeah. I love it. Oh, it reminds me a little bit of my home. Oh yeah. Kingdom of Hermosa is of course the kingdom of wishes. Now it's very special because people come from all over to have their wish granted. Isn't that oh, magical? Maybe we can grant a wish for you today. <gasps> that sounds like a good idea. Then we'll come over. Well now I don't know though. Because isn't that King Magnifico that's granting the wishes? He is granting the wishes. I don't know that I trust him so much. Oh, he's a he's a very kind king. He's very generous enough that he grants one wish every single month. Okay. Now I'm hoping that my Sava Savino, he's gonna be hundred. I hope his wishes granted this month. He's so kind and generous. But we'll have to see. Yeah. <laughs> Should he grant a wish? Yeah. <laughs> well, let's make a heart like this. And we have a big wish. So I thought I had read somewhere that it was announced that she was going to Fairy Tale Hall in Magic Kingdom, but when I asked the the character attendants, they said we haven't. Hey, how's it going? Hi. They're like we haven't heard anything like that. We're going to be here for a little while. Well, we saw it. I saw it on Twitter, but I don't know if it was an official account that I saw it on or like a fan account. So I'm not sure. Right. So take that with a grain of salt. She's here for right now. As we continue our way around the World Showcase, we're coming up to Char and Chop. And this is another new booth. We've got the roasted porchetta. Sounds, ooh, I might get that. That looks really good. Grilled Impossible Spicy Sausage. Also looks delicious. And the meat assorti. Lots of different styles of meat. Over here at the Noodle Exchange, something that I thought was very strange that they did was they have this Impossible Pork Udon. And that is a vegetarian pork, but it's in chicken broth? It's a vegan pork. A vegan pork, but it could also be for people that are... Um, oh, for people who don't eat pork for religious reasons. Right. Ah, uh, okay. So, but it seemed easy enough. I guess it also has an egg in there. Mm, so, yeah. Okay, that I makes sense. I thought it would sense. have been easy enough to put it in vegetable broth. So this is a roasted porchetta with lemon parsley salsa verde and shaved fennel salad. And we also got the grilled impossible spicy sausage with herb polenta, puttanesca sauce, and ricotta. So is the ricotta vegan or not? I probably should have asked them that. I didn't even realize that it had ricotta on the top. So this was $6 and this was $6.25. Jen went right next door to the noodle exchange and she got the shaved beef ramen with shiitake mushrooms, pickled carrots, daikon radish, with shaved peppers, soy egg, and citrus sesame broth. There is a vegan version of this that uses tofu, but everything else is mostly the same in there. I did already taste the broth because I wanted to see how hot it was. They were pouring a fresh batch of broth when I got mine, and I was like, oh, that looks very hot. Uh, the temperature's great. It's not too hot, not too cold. But the citrus, the, the broth is so good. The citrus gives it like this like bold, vibrant, back-of-the-mouth flavor. It makes me like salivate. Ooh. Yeah, it's really good. And this was $6. Mm. So I didn't ask at the booth, but I did scroll through a few vegan websites that do vegan Disney food, and they didn't mention this one. So I'm assuming that this one's not vegan because of the ricotta cheese. This looks so good. Yeah, I'm excited for it here. It's got like, what? Are, what's the, is that like weeks? It looks delicious. Oh, what is it? Fennel. Fennel. Okay, fennel. That is very powerfully flavored like fennel, but it's okay. delicious. Salty. Yeah. The oil in there gives it like another little punch of excitement in there. <laughs> I don't know. And the pork is not overly chewy. It is a little tiny bit chewy and a little bit tiny bit grainy, but oh, fantastic. I have to say too, the portions this year, I feel like 
very surprised with the fortune. Yeah, I feel like this is a good deal. Yeah. Like these three items that we got are a good deal. I don't know if we're gonna be able to eat any more after this. Dig into this sausage. I'm excited because I'm sometimes sausages here, like the Impossible sausages at Disney, are really good. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they're okay. But let's see how this one is. What's that? What's that flavor? So it's a puttanesca sauce, like olives and tomatoes and stuff. So you're getting a lot of that, like that, like salivating flavor that you get when you like eat an olive. Briny, almost yeah, salty. Briny, yeah, briny, salty, and then the polenta and then the sausage. The flavor of the sausage is kind of lost. Oh, you lost the flavor of the sausage. We're gonna hold it's that. Lost in the sauce. Oh. But for real. <laughs> That's really good. I would eat this again, 100%. Oliver's having his very own food and wine. What's he eating? Pear, kiwi, spinach, and pea. And he keeps looking up at the fans. Understandable. That's think? the life right there. Give us your review. Is it good? Do you like it? He's like reaching for it. <laughs> so we ran down to use the bathroom, change the baby and stuff like that. And we are passing by Mariachi Cobra. So now we're headed into Oliver's first Epcot ride. Well, it's his first ride in the World Showcase because I think he came with us to Epcot and we rode, didn't we ride something? We get, no, we rode Test Track. What else did we ride? Maybe I'm incorrect because we went on that VIP tour and we came to Epcot. Did he ride anything? Did he ride Frozen with us? It Can he ride Frozen? <laughs> I'm so lost. Where are we? What year is it? <laughs> I'm like 90% sure that we rode Grand Fiesta Tour on that VIP tour. Oh man, I have such a bad memory. It's only fitting because today is November 2nd and the Day of the Dead, Dia de los Muertos, is November 1st through November 2nd this year. Oh, it's two days. Front row, look at us. Oh, buddy. I love this ride. So good. Doesn't take much to entertain me. Oh, they're gone. They're not there. Where'd they go? They were like this. Yeah, maybe they're fixing them. I like how Oliver's like looking around every which direction. He's like. He's like, what is happening right now? <laughs> All right, we need to start making our way towards the front of the park. And you know what's towards the front of the park? The like on milk. our way towards the front of the park? The pickle milkshake. Pickle milkshake over in the Odyssey building at Brew Wing. I thought for sure the baby was going to fall asleep on the Grand Fiesta tour. No, he was into it. Yeah, he loved it. He's like, what? what's yeah, this? What's he's that? Like what's so that? Uh, aware of everything, so observant. Yeah. So, there is a pumpkin hunt currently going on right now. Oh. Similar to like Remy's. Uh, hide and squeak oh, yeah, yeah. and things like that. And look, there's a Pluto pumpkin up there. All right, so All right. I got the, the infamous pickle milkshake. I gotta say, it's very pretty. It's very picturesque. This dill, I think, has seen better days. It's kind of slimy. Yeah, I would probably throw that out. Yeah. Give it to the give it to the nature. Give it to the nature. They love dill. Look at it. It's just like a clump of old dill. It looks like grass clippings. <laughs> I'll leave that on there. That's fine. Okay. But what are these? flavors of? Chocolate. Oh, it's chocolate? Yeah. Chocolate pearls on a pickle milkshake? Yeah. Okay. All right, so here's my, I'm like nervous because it smells very pickly. First sip, you'll be like, oh, this is delicious. Oh yeah? Get in there. Okay, I can't remember. Did you like it or not? No. You didn't? Okay. No. But somebody, you were, I think Nick Nick liked really it. liked it, okay. yeah. It tastes like eggnog. Yeah. Now taste mm. it more. It tastes like eggnog and dill. 
Yeah. That's what this tastes like. Now taste it more. Because you get a cinnamon flavor at first, and then you keep going. Maybe they toned it down because it just tastes like eggnog. Well, I doubt it. <laughs> it's supposed to be dill sorbet or dill gelato. It tastes like eggnog. Taste this. Oh god, am I gonna eat this flavor stuck in my mouth again? No, it literally just tastes like eggnog. It does taste like dill eggnog. Yeah, it tastes a little bit different now. Maybe they, Maybe toned, they it toned it down. Yeah. Maybe they got a different flavor, a different manufacturer, a different vendor. I love eggnog. Do you love this? Yeah. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> That's so weird. They must have they must have changed it. Because the way people were reacting, unless they were reacting that way, like just for the internet, this is this doesn't taste bad. You like it? it I love eggnog, so yeah, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna head over to Connections Cafe, see if they have a new liege waffle. The jammers are still out here jamming. Yeah, uh, er, jammeters, jammeters. Freebird, but it is a bit confusing because there's two different sides. There's the Connections Eatery, which is a quick serve location, and there's Connections Cafe, which is the Starbucks here at Epcot. So the Liege waffle right now is a Remy Liege waffle, and I believe we've had this one already. It's cream cheese, cream cheese icing, but they have the croissant donut or a cronut, as they like to call it, for $5.79. We also have the holiday cookies available. Yes, and the holiday cake pop. There it is, the croissant donut. Fluffy, sugary, delicious. So I know this is a wild looking deconstructed view of this, but I kind of tried to rip it apart, but it's so chewy that it ended up just kind of like destroying it. <laughs> Look how flaky and like layery it is. Yeah. It's so airy and like pillowy. Yeah. Ooh, wow. Looks so good. Can I have a bite? See what I mean, how it's hard to pull? It is hard to pull, yeah. Okay, let me try a bite. Oh, it's like cinnamony. Yeah, okay. cinnamon sugar. It's very reminiscent of a churro. Yeah. But it's a little bit softer on the inside and a little bit like thicker, like bigger. Yeah. Very similar to a churro though. Very similar to a churro if you turned it into mm. a croissant. But like that chewiness. And made it into a donut. Yeah. <laughs> right. But the chewiness and like the butteriness, very good. Yeah. Very good. My turn. That was great. Oh. Wow. Yeah, chewy, airy, fluffy, sugary, sweet, crunchy, but like also like fried. It's pretty great. Really good. Wow. I'd like to know how they make this. This is something I'd like to try to make at home. You have to get like a bunch of croissant like dough. I think you can get it from like Pillsbury. Yeah. And just you stack it, you layer it. Well, that's how you make croissants anyways. Is it? Yeah, you roll it out, you put butter down, then you fold it. You roll it down, oh, you put butter down, I mean, then you fold it. You just get like a bunch of those though, and layer, 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 layer. And then you take a big cookie cutter and you just plop it down, and then you fry it. Okay. I like your gusto. I'll do it. Just passing by Gateway Gifts on the way out. What's this? What's this? Christmas is starting now. Oh yeah. But the thing that drew me in was out here. The necklaces, the light up jingle or like light up holiday light necklaces and they're snow blowing bubble wands. Like they blow a little snow instead of just regular bubbles. How much fun is that? They had one that blew the snow, remember? Yeah. And it, it's horrible. Yeah, it, it clogs so fast. Yeah, it does like these little tiny foam bubbles. Yeah. And it literally is, it, it breaks immediately. Yeah, it was nice the day. If we had kept, if we were like here on vacation, we're using it every day. Yeah. It would have been great, but we took it home, let it sit for like three days, and then it didn't work. Yeah. All right, like we said, we only had a few hours here, but it was a packed few hours. Yeah, we really made the most of our time. And we met so many of you guys, so that was really fun and amazing. Got to meet Asha. Yeah, that was awesome. Amazing. That was really like just a super fun surprise. Yeah. We knew that she was meeting, we just didn't know when she was meeting. Right. So, and it was really cool. I wanted to see the movie. Yeah, so what was your favorite thing that you ate today? I think for me, it was the ramen. It was so filling and it was so, like I couldn't eat anymore. I wanted to try the Dan Dan noodles too. So you've had them, you said they were good, but they were spicy. spicy. But I was like, I don't think I can eat anymore. Right. So, and I was very surprised by the pickle milkshake. So, there you go. Yeah. I really enjoyed the Impossible Sausage. It was delicious and unexpected flavors. And you guys know I love that when I'm like trying new things. I want something unexpected. I feel like it was, if you like uh, olives, yeah. you'll like that. Yeah. Delicious. Yeah. I love so, that. 
All in all, it was a fantastic day. And with that being said, we're off. We'll see y'all tomorrow. I'm Hannah. And I'm Evan Lee. And, and now, now it's time, time to, to pay, pay the, the price. price.